it was growing up with goat weed. It, hell, it was probably knee high to waist high in some places. And uh, we got the wind right and set the call up out there. Uh, finally, he come back out and I made a good shot on him. Twenty-two, two fifty is a little much for Fox, but uh, their hides are no good right now anyway. We're just trying to help this guy out, get rid of some of these predators to uh, keep keep some rabbits in here. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was it, when we first started night hunting, we were using these uh, these scopes to scan with. With a thermal scope, you can you can scan with it and do pretty good with it, but with a night vision scope, it's, it's damn near impossible. We were talking about it after we made the, after I made the shot that we would have never seen that we would have never seen this fox if it wouldn't have been for that thermal. The goat we were just so thick; those IR lights reflect off of everything, and uh, we just we wouldn't even seen we probably wouldn't even we may have got lucky and seen his eyes, but it had already been too late. So, if you're into uh, predator hunting, I highly recommend some kind of handheld thermal. It, it changes everything. Um, I mean, we are we haven't upgraded to the thermal scope yet. We were debating on that today about, uh, you know, whether we were going to spend the money and do that. But, I'm not sure. I'm still undecided because, I mean, we're still killing stuff, you know. The only thing that bothers me is... I don't know if sometimes them coyotes will see that the red glow of this IR light and spook them. They're not supposed to be able to see red, but I don't know. I, I hear some people say that they can and it spooks them. And then I got other guys that hunt with thermals only and with no light, they still get busted by coyotes. You know, whether they get silhouetted or the wind, you know, the wind's wrong. But uh, one thing we did tonight that... Uh, in the summertime, we did it last summer too. Justin shot a coyote when he first got his uh, suppressor for his AR. We we've been setting for 40 to 45 minutes. Normally in the winter time, we set for maybe 20, 25, and uh, we move to the next set. But in the summertime, it seems like that uh, setting 40, 45 minutes is is a uh, is uh, if you you know it's more productive at the about the we shot this fox at the 40 minute mark i think and justin shot his coyote last year at like the 45 minute mark so uh this is something to something you might try may uh may make make things a little bit you know may make you more successful uh it's like five o'clock in the morning. We've been up all night, so I'm not. I can't think straight right now. Um, the third stand that we did, we had a. Uh, we've been uh, the, the sequence we've been doing is we've been going to a spot and then we've been uh, doing the. What's the howl we've been doing? Interrogation. The interrogation howl, and they seem to really respond. If there's a cow in the area, that interrogation howl, they're going to respond. So we start out with an interrogation howl. If nothing answers, then we just go straight. We went straight into rabbit distress. We did that all night. The third stand we did, we st like I said, we started with the interrogation howl, and a uh, coyote opened up. I mean, he was probably two or three hundred yards from us, and Justin immediately went to the pup distress and stayed on the pup distress. Well, the spot that we were hunting is. Uh, they had pushed up piles of like root walls and stuff on the side, and er I mean everything was hot. You know, you would scan through there with your thermal, and you would just pick up things. You'd have to focus on them to make sure they weren't moving, and it was just you know glowing stuff everywhere. So it was really hard to to. Uh, it was just a tough stand. Well, that freaking coyote ended up 
there was a, a pile of dirt and that coyote come up on the top of that pile of dirt and I scanned by him and when I went back on him I could see him I could see his full body then and that time I got try to get on him he he didn't run off he was probably 30 yards from the call we had the call going pretty loud too I think that a smart coyote I think they pick up on that too um, but yeah I'm 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 loving the sight mark many it, it's it's a uh, it's hard to spend. Uh, I, I really want the AGM adder, but it's hard for me to justify spending the money right now when I got a daytime scope right here that one of my boys can, you know, kill his first deer. I can record the sound. I can record the video. It's got really good daylight uh, video, and uh, you know, we're we're still killing stuff. You know, it'd be different if we were just getting skunk every night. We went out, and you know, then I could blame it on the IR light. You know, but it's not it's not working out that way we've we've killed some killed uh some bobcats this year a couple of gray fox uh matter of fact we're going to uh our our land that we picked up in ozona and uh you know if my wife or one of the kids or if justin's wife or justin wants to shoot a fox you know we can record you know i can record it and he can record it too but uh I don't know. I just I, I like the I like the fact that uh, you know we, we we can we can still hunt daylight and it's not a thermal image. Um, you know I don't mind the therm you know looking through the thermal. Uh, when we're hunting at night, it, it it helps you pick up on the animal a lot faster. I mean, but you know I don't you know I. I I don't know. I just I don't like the idea of having a thermal image during the daylight. I'd rather have this day scope. Um, but but yeah, you got anything to add to that, Justin? Yeah, I mean, other than just the flexibility of the of the scope and being able to you know record and have audio. I know some of the thermals that are are you know have to go up to like five six you know grand for you get audio, but some of them you can buy that are are more affordable but you can get audio but anyway my site mark fills all the needs that we're doing right now it's just i think a thermal like we talked about is it's for, uh, for pig hunters you know wanting to get on target quick um the night vision quick follow up yeah, shots exactly quick follow up shots and the night vision's got its place but for like pig hunters or people who are constantly you know emptying a magazine when they go out and shoot pigs the the night vision's not really technically for them yeah 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 i agree with that we uh, we got buddies that hunt with hogs and uh, or hunt thermals with hogs and I mean they strictly hunt at night you know they they build a gun that's for hunting at night and and that's what it's for and I don't know I don't, I don't like that idea I like I'd rather have something that's because uh, we all we do is this right here we hunt predators uh, I don't I'm not real big into the shooting hogs I mean I'll I'll kill one during deer season and eat it, but I'm just, uh, this is what I love. And yeah. So I know it, there's more attachments. There are more things come with the night vision. Like you have to have eye or light, you know, that then yeah. night, the hunting at nighttime, that's the only kind of gripe you would have about night vision, but yeah. it does make you have more, more parts and pieces to charge and put together and keep up with and everything else instead of just having the thermal and go. But, yeah this definitely has a place and purpose yep but and then when you're hunting in the daylight you just take it off you know yeah you got to have a battery pack but you got to have a you know batteries for a thermal too so right. i don't know just we've been kind of going back and forth on it I'd, I'd almost rather spend that money to get some more property or you know something like that and until like i said maybe you know maybe we'll come out here and just don't kill anything for you know three or four months and everything that comes out just looks right at us and runs off you know uh, but me and justin really focus on getting that wind right i think that's a big deal and, and they i mean i mean they hunt at night i mean they can see obviously they can see really good at night so they uh you know a lot of times we probably get they probably see us they probably come out they're looking at the call especially a weary coyote, you know, he kind of surveys everything before he just rushes in uh, at night and, uh, you know, maybe, they, maybe they're maybe they seeing us, but, 
But yeah, I guess that's a, that's a wrap, huh? All right. Sounds good to me.